Morning, WS7JNJ, hiking up to Devil's Mountain near Mount Vernon, Washington. Great day, a little bit of fog this morning, but gorgeous blue skies. There was some ice on the windows this morning, but it's gonna be uh, in, the, in the 40s, maybe getting close to 50, so gorgeous day. So Devil's Mountain was the first video that I did on my YouTube channel, at least the first one that was really the style that I wanted, the first video was just me uh, learning how to do some editing again and refreshing. So last year was also the first time I used the Yaesu FT3DR. And over the last year, I seem to notice more interference more than my prior radio. So excited to try the Soda Beam's two meter bandpass filter for the first time, especially on summits like this where there's so many towers, it can be really helpful. So excited to try that out. WX70MT, WS7J and J. WA7J and J. I just wanted to let you know you're 5'9 now, almost with no uh, static or hiss. I've got the bandpass filter and uh, it's working amazing. I love that bandpass filter. Uh, we have a, our share of those uh, peaks down here that require that. I just remember last year uh, I was on the summit and you were on another summit hearing me 5'9 and I couldn't get a summit to summit with you. Uh, you're, I think you're around Seattle somewhere. Yeah, there's uh, right in the I-90 corridor, you have all the Tiger Mountains and Squawk Mountains. QSL, we'll just want to let you know, 7-3, uh, W7JNJ clear. All right, 73, good luck with your activation. I think we're going to be packing it up, uh, WX7MT. KI-7MMZ. Uh, Victor, KI-7MMZ, uh, W7JNJ, were you calling for me or Chris? Uh, I'm talking to JNJ. How are you doing this morning? Hey, Victor, doing great. You're coming in very clear, 5-9. I'm on uh, Sierra Kilo 163, Devil's Mountain. I've got you at uh, 1912 Zulu. Uh, have yourself a great day. You're loud and clear. Uh, beautiful downtown ever, Charlie Nelson, 87. 7-3, I'm gonna stand aside here for a minute and I just finished getting set up, 7-3. All right, on the summit of Devil's Mountain and uh, actually I've already activated the summit. Um, thank you, Josh W7H, for the summit to summit with Bald Hill and Monroe, for and uh, also for the soda complete, and then also Chris WX7EMT and uh, KK7MEL, another summit to summit. They're on Deep Devil uh, today, and uh, kind of funny because last year I was using uh, the same elk antenna without a bandpass filter and was not able to hear Chris when he was on a summit near Seattle. And, uh, but he could hear me 5.9. I could barely hear Chris WX7EMT and KK7MEL with the roll-up J-pole and without the bandpass filter. And then with the elk antenna, so I got direction, but primarily the bandpass filter heard them incredibly clearly, so 5.9. Uh, so dramatic difference just from my first impression on Devil's Mountain. So looking forward to making some more two meter contacts today. Uh, made some C4FM contacts. It's been a while since I've done that. I've got a little friend here on the summit, a woodpecker. He's about eight feet away from me, uh, making some noise, but a great little spot to sit here on a log. Uh, I've got the equipment all set up finally. Uh, I'm using a Wolf River coil today, uh, just for 20 and 40 meter. And uh, the elk antenna, and I've got 220 set up with a, a roll-up J-pole, so let's make some contacts. WS7JNJ calling CQ Summits on the air on 147-525-C4 FM. WA7JNJ, K7OPP. K7OPP, thank you. Uh, you are 5'9". Oh, roger, roger. Yeah, I was doing cross band in the backyard, and uh, I was like, oh, I wonder if it's going to work. I just saw the HT, but yeah, it does. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you. Uh, you're my first um, C4 FM this year. I did a couple summits last year and I uh, want to try it a little bit more. Um, I know Jason Case and I, I was mentioning he heard me on one summit on C4FM and could not hear me uh, on regular FM. Oh, yeah, that's, that's weird. Uh, I moved to one side of the porch and I didn't hear you, then moved back to the where I was standing originally and he came right back. But I hear you great. You're about 4S units. Uh, QSL and the 4S units. Yeah, it's, you either get a signal or you don't, I guess, with digital. Well, thanks again, Jake73 uh, from uh, WS7, JJ. Yep, Hello. Hey. CQ summits on the air. WA7 J and J on Devil's Mountain. KJ7 LSE. Uh, let me copy that down. KJ7 LSE, I believe. WA7 J and J. You're five nine. 
Roger the 5-9. Thank you. QSL, thanks for the contact today. Uh, my name is James, by the way, and a gorgeous day. Um, just uh, near Mount Vernon, up on uh, the summit of Devil's Mountain. <laughs> QSL. Well, thank you for saying a quick hi. 73 W7 JNJ. Have fun. You some W7 JNJ calling CQ Summits on the Air from Devil's Mountain. Yo, Bravo Alpha. Uh, there's a few stations out there, but Bravo Alpha. Yeah, name here is Don, Delta Oscar November, Kilo 7, Bravo Alpha. Over. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Don uh, made contact on uh, Winter Field Day, which was great. Uh, thanks, your 5 9 up here on Devil's Mountain using a two meter bandpass filter, and it's working great. Yeah, you sound excellent. I'm over here in Tulalip at uh, my campsite, and uh, good to hear you again. Uh, having fun out there. I'm sure it's nice and sunny over. It's so nice. I'm just sitting here enjoying it. I, <laughs> not as much about radio contacts. I'm just uh, enjoying the gorgeous day. Uh, thanks again for saying a quick hi. Yeah, you bet, James. Have fun out there, and uh, 73, good luck. 73, and there's uh, a few other stations. Uh, this is W7 JNJ. Kilo 7, November Delta Oscar. Uh, was it Kilo 7, November Delta Oscar? That is correct, sir. Indio is the name here in Mill Creek. Indio and Mill Creek. Uh, well, thank you for saying a quick hi today. Uh, gorgeous day up here, uh, just near Mount Vernon, and uh, you're coming in 5-9. Well, you you are as well, and a beautiful day out there. We'll, we'll let you get some more there. Uh, K7NDO. Thanks again, K7NDO, WS7JNJ, calling CQ Summits on the air. Kilo 7 Golf Yankee Bravo on uh, Worthy Hill. Do you copy, James? Kilo 7 Golf Yankee Bravo. Dave, I hear you 5-9. Uh, uh, oh, really good. Yeah, I'm overlooking the Puget Sound. Uh, just got up to the summit, and I'll be uh, setting up, but I just wanted to tag you before you left. Very cool. And Worthy Hill, I'm not sure what uh, summit reference that is. I'm assuming it's a summit. Um, I'm on Sierra Kilo 163. QSL, W7JNJ. Uh, thanks for the summit. summit. Uh, W7JNJ calling CQ Summits on the air. Summit to summit. Uh, summit to summit. Is that uh, K3OG? It is not. I will surprise you a bit. Uh, this is November Romeo 7 Yankee in Oregon. <laughs> November Romeo 7 Yankee. I did not expect to hear you. Your voice was similar. Where are you at? So this is uh, Whiskey 7 Oscar. November Charlie 072 in uh, Tillamook Forest. I copy the Tillamook Forest. That is crazy. Um, I'm near Mount Vernon. Um, I've got an elk antenna, I think, pointed your way, and a bandpass filter, which is helping me. And I've got all of us a, a uh, uh, long ranger, halfway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit in shock right now, Brian. Uh, well, thank you for Summit to Summit. That is a crazy surprise. Now I just gotta whip out my log and actually uh, write this one down. It's pretty good. Well, thank you. I did not expect that today. Uh, have a great day, Brian. 7-3. You too. 7-3. Thanks. <laughs> WA7JJ. Uh, up on Devil's Mountain. Stunned that I made Summit Summit with Oregon. November 7, Kilo Oscar Mike, Summit to Summit, Summit to Summit. Whiskey Alpha 7, Juliet, November, Juliet. Whiskey Alpha 7, Juliet, November, Juliet. Uh, QSL, I copy the 4-1, you're 4 one, four one as well. I'm on Whiskey 7 Whiskey, Sierra Kilo 163. I copy Charlie, Charlie 001, Mary's Peak. That's a long summit to summit, 7-3. So awesome. Holy cow. <laughs> summit to summit? Whiskey Alpha 7, Juliet, November, Juliet, next door on Devil's Mountain. Oh, very good, uh, James. That's, uh, that's fantastic. Yeah, you're practically getting.
get a visual on you. Uh, very good. Uh, yeah, you're a uh, great signal here. QSL, your 5.9. I'm using uh, the soda bean bandpass filter for the very first time, and it's been amazing up here. I'm actually getting summit to summits on two meter in Oregon. Thought I, I thought I heard that when we were driving in. Um, yeah, and it's funny because we just walked. We're standing underneath the cell towers here, and I just thought, gosh, I got to pick one of those up and, and put it in my bag. Yeah, I didn't really realize uh, how amazing it is. I was having a hard time here in Summit Summits. Um, even locally in Seattle, they were like a 3-3 or less. And um, yeah, so anyway, well, great to hear you. I think it's our first Summit to Summit, uh, 7-3, WS7JJ. Okay, very good. We'll see you on the next one, WS7TAO. 7-3. So just wrapping up the Summit activation here today on Devil's Mountain in absolutely blown away by the two meter bandpass filter from soda beams last year i struggled to make a oh i didn't struggle i just couldn't hear a summit to summit near seattle and using the elk antenna uh, without a bandpass filter same radio this year with the bandpass filter elk antenna same setup as last year i uh, made my longest longest distance two meter summit to summit ever I'm pretty positive about that. I know uh, the first one blew me away northwest of Portland uh, with Brian and then with Tim and Mary's Peak. Uh, so one was over 200 miles, one's over 300, I'm pretty sure. So just blown away by the performance of the bandpass filter. A great tool to have in your toolbox. I know I waited a long time to get one. You're just kind of always trying to prioritize things to buy and those things. but. If there's towers in your area or summits, uh, two meter bandpass filter is definitely, uh, might surprise you, it sure did me today. 7-3, WS7JNJ.